Hi, and welcome to the letter R, as in a revolutionary, radical, as in Germana Marucelli. In the history of Italian fashion, Germana Marucelli was the first couturière who collaborated with avant-garde artists, injected innovations and creativity in her clothes, and conceived the atelier not only a business hub, but a cultural salon. An underestimated couturière, always ahead of her time, Germana was one of the few designers who participated at the first fashion show organized in Florence by Giovan Battista Giorgini in 1951. Born in Settignano, near Florence, in 1905, Germana learned the métier from her mother, who had an atelier in Florence. As a teenager, she worked in the family Sartoria and later moved to Milan as a young apprentice at Ventura Couture House, which was specialized in reproducing the last French fashion trends. At the end of the Second World War, Marucelli decided to open her own practice in Milan, establishing her own style totally freed by French influences. It's interesting to observe how some of her creations anticipated your silhouette, like this 1949 outfit feature on the left, while the Dior's Junon dress is on the right and is from the 50s. Although Maruccelli stated that for sure Dior wouldn't have been able to see what she was designed, she proudly underlined how her creativity was so ahead of the time. Germana loved to entertain in her atelier. Every Thursday, clients, friends, intellectual and contemporary artists gathered together at cultural events held at her salon. She even launched a literary prize, Premio San Babila, which awarded the poet Giuseppe Ungaretti in 1948. And two years later, Salvatore Quasimodo, who would eventually be the recipient of the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1959. Salvatore Quasimodo's wife, the artist Maria Cumani, was Marucelli's longtime friend and model. In this picture, she wears a 1949 dress with design painted by the artist Pietro Zuffi. Marucelli had indeed created pioneering style and collaboration with artists. In the 50s, for instance, she launched an elegant empire line with fabric designed by Zuffi. Painter Massimo Campigli came up with motives for Maruccelli's 1951 Spring Summer Collection, and here is his invitation of the fashion show. Later on, the couturier paid homage to old, old masters and contemporary artists such as Beato Angelico, Botticelli, and Picasso. In 1957, following an increasing success, even if in a very special group of people, Maruccelli decided to open up an atelier in Rome's Piazza Milanelli, few steps from Piazza di Spagna. And in this picture, Germana is in between Roberto Capucci and Giovanna Caracciolo, one of the founders of Carosa, at the opening party. In the 60s, Maruccelli took inspiration for Italian artist Giacomo Manzu's sculpture for her bishop line. She also created dresses inspired by Giuseppe Caprogrossi's black and white geometries and collaborated with artist and architect Paolo Scheggi and with experimental artist Getulio Arviani, who actually introduced her to the pop art. Few examples. In this picture, we have a couple of 1962 cocktail dresses with motives and painted by Paolo Scheggi. And here we have the 1965 optical defile, which marks an intriguing collaboration with the artist Getulio Alviani. And finally, the iconic Fall Winter 68-69 Linea Numinio, with an aluminum belt of Getulio Alviani and a sequin dress inspired by Scheggi painting. And now, a few words regarding Maruccelli Milan Atelier. In 1964, looking for a bigger space, she left her old atelier and moved across the street in Corso Venezia 35, asking her friend Paolo Scheggi to design the layout. The interior design, all white, gray, black, and aluminum, 
was modern and revolutionary at that time, where the majority of the couture houses boasted over-the-top decor with gilded mirrors, big window treatments, and Louis XVI hump chairs. The inauguration day was October 7, 1964, amid Cage's artworks and Alviani's lamp, the attendees received Le Favole del Ferro da Stiro, a book written by one of Germana's closest friends, Fernanda Pivano. Pivano was a well-known intellectual and writer who translated from English all the Beat Generation writers from Kerouac to Ginsburg and everyone in between. During her career, Germana received many awards, including the honor of Knights of the Italian Republic in 1954. In the early 70s, she decided to only design special dresses for a small group of clients and started producing small golden plaques called Le Presenze, the Presences, which were exhibited in Milan in 1974. Today, the Associazione Germana Maruccelli keeps her legacy alive. Thanks for listening, and keep in mind what the legendary costume designer Hedith Head said. Fashion is a language. Some know it, some learn it, like an instinct. Goodbye!